So today I'm at the Fowler Trailhead here in Colorado, mainly out here just to ride my bike around, but also test a couple things on the bike. First thing I want to test out is these new tires that I just put on. Now I came here to, Col to Colorado with 28 millimeter tires, and I quickly realized they were really just too small for this type of uh, rough terrain. Okay, it's not that rough here, but you'll see later. And uh, so anyway, I bought these 32 millimeter Kindas used for 15 bucks for the pair. And it seems like they're gonna work out real nice, but uh, there is a bit of a clearance issue right there. So we'll see how that works out today. And the other thing I'm here to test out are these pedals. Now let's see if I can remember the name of the company, but I think it's uh, Miyatomo. <laughs> I'm really sorry if I don't if I have that wrong. I probably do have that wrong. I'll put it up here on the screen. Anyway, they went ahead and sent me these flat pedals to test out, and that's exactly what I'm doing today. I'm getting ready to ride. I actually don't know exactly where I'm riding today. We'll see how it goes. It's kind of play it by ear today. It's a beautiful location, so uh, let's get it. let's get going. Well, this is a beautiful place to ride your bike or hike, that's for sure. Unfortunately though, it looks like you can't ride your bike everywhere. I was planning on taking a right back there. It looked more interesting, but there was a sign that said no bikes allowed. So, decided to go left, which is fine too, but it's just too bad they're restricting the bike traffic. I think bikes should be allowed to go anywhere. Not to say it's the best riding, maybe you'll be carrying the bike, but you should be allowed to go. The pedals, of course, they're working fine. They're brand new. They look really nice, though, I have to say. They're fairly thin. They're aluminum, have steel pins. They look sharp, but I have to say, I think nowadays I really do prefer clip in, clipless pedals, rather. It just seems like one less thing to think about, your feet moving around and such. Oh, wow, there's a deer. This will be a good time to stop, show you where I'm at. It's just laying down here in the grass. Anyway, it's a beautiful place, a beautiful state, and uh, once you get into the mountains, it gets even much nicer. So uh, anyway, I've only been riding for like 30 minutes, so let's keep going. Okay, that's pretty. Ah, uh, see, this is sad, no bikes. Hey there. Good. Did I mention, by the way, these wheels are only about 14.7 millimeters inner width, and we're running 32 millimeter tires, so that is over the recommended amount, width rather. Okay, now we're moving down a little bit. Here comes the cyclist, opposite my direction. How you doing? Good. I'm not a great technical rider, as you probably know from my other videos, but I can usually get where I need to go. Whoa. Hey, going good. You're crushing it. <laughs> Thanks.
I've only had these tires on for like two days, so I'm, I, you know, I'm just hoping they hold air correctly and everything. I mean, they are tubes, so should be fine. I'm not going tube with or nothing like that. Yeah, they don't really like riding on all this mud. Ooh, I hear some sound now. Hear that? Let's stop and check it out. Oh, anyway, my hands are getting tired, to be honest. I hope you can see that, but you know, the, the space is just a few millimeters, and if there's any stones, of course, they're going to hit it. <sighs> I don't know. I don't know if it means that I won't run this setup or not. I, I might keep it. It's okay. I mean, it's not stopping me yet. Gosh, the pressure on these feels so low compared to regular road bike tires. It's kind of making me nervous. <laughs> Ooh, beautiful. Wow, so cool. We're kind of like up in a plateau here. <sighs> Guys, look at this place. It's so beautiful. I don't think I can, I don't think I can show it really correctly just with the camera, but wow, this is a super nice place. Beautiful mountains. And I think this, this mountain here, this kind of face of a mountain is kind of famous here in Colorado. I don't remember what it's called, but I think it's very visible from Boulder. I'm not sure about that, but I think so. Oh, okay, let's get back to riding. It is 5.30 right now. So uh, I need to be back down in the car by about six o'clock and I don't even know where I'm at, so <laughs> I better get going. All right, I'm getting close to the end of the trail, so I thought I'd go ahead and stop and let you guys know how everything's going, how it went, and to answer the question, are these pedals any good? And can you fit big, fat 32 millimeter tires on old, skinny road frames, old, skinny wheels, and old, skinny road brake calipers? That's the question. So, first on the pedals. You know, I don't have a lot to say about them. They're comfortable, they work, um, they work fine, they work good. Bearings seem nice, they seem solid, they seem well built. Uh, you know, they're, they're good, they're good pedals, and especially for the price. Honestly, I don't want to say the price because I don't remember it off the top of my head, but it was very low. They're on Amazon, I'll put a link in the description below. There's like zero play, absolutely zero play in them. They spin freely, they work good, you know, not much to say about that. I think the real question is actually how long will they last? So I will up make updates in the description below, even if it's a year, two years down the road, and I have any problems, I'll go ahead and update you guys down below in the description to look out for that. The next question is these tires. And so for me, the big story was, is are they gonna make clearance with that brake caliper? Primarily the rear one. Now the front one seems for some reason to have plenty of space, but that rear one is super tight. And how would these tires do on this narrow rim? A rim that they're not really even made to be on. So they're really pushing the recommendation to the limit and even a little bit beyond. Um, but they're actually working okay. Like I said, I think I'm only at just over 60 PSI. And it felt to me like I was getting pinch flats, but it never, never actually pinch flatted. So uh, all in all, I mean, I've been riding for like an hour. I haven't had any trouble. I never had to stop and clear anything. I haven't had any pinch flats, even though I have inner tubes and relatively, in my opinion, low pressure. So yeah, everything's been working fine. Holy moly guys, my front tire is low, low, low. I just stopped and checked it. It is super low. It's probably well under 20 PSI, but all I have is this fire road to go. So I don't really feel like trying to bump it up, fix it. I'm just gonna kind of keep the weight off of it and just kind of coast down to the car, hopefully. Don't know what happened there. I don't know when it happened, what happened. Wow, front end is super squishy right now. Not good, not in a good way. Well, I don't know what happened, but check this out. Look at that. <laughs> There's not much air left in there. <laughs> yeah, wow, that was scary. Glad I made it though, didn't have to stop. Rear is still fine, wheel is hot. All right guys, I think it's about it for this ride. Thanks everybody for watching and uh, please leave a comment, like, subscribe, all that stuff. See you guys next time, bye.